हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम दर्शना पटेल फ्रॉम वीपीएमपी पॉलिटेक्निक माय सब्जेक्ट इज कंप्यूटर एंड नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी यूनिट नेम क्रिप्टोग्राफी एंड पब्लिक की इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड माय टॉपिक इज पीकेआई एंड ट्रस्ट मॉडल नाउ ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ टुडेस लर्निंग इज टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग पब्लिक की इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड अ डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेट एंड द स्टेप्स फॉर ऑब्टेनिंग डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेट also understanding centralized and decentralized infrastructure and the uh, understanding trust model with its types now topics to be covered in this videos are the public key infrastructure digital certificate centralized and decentralized infrastructure private key protection trust model with the types now first topic pki is a public key infrastructure pki is also called asymmetric key infrastructure it is based on the concept of asymmetric keys it uses a key pair say public private key pair to encrypt and decrypt the data for that the pki enables user of an unsecure to securely and privately exchange data through the use of public private cryptography here the key pair in the pki is consist of a private and public key the private key must be kept secret whereas the public key needs to be distributed now data encryption which can be done one of the two keys can be decrypted by the other keys but here the key problem of pki is to manage the public key because the public key needs to be distributed so everyone knows the public key so how to provide the protection to the public key that's a major problem of pki and for that currently pki uses a digital certificate concept or say digital certificate mechanism to solve the above problem digital certificate it binds the public key to their owners and help to distribute the public key in a large network securely now this is the architecture of pki it consists of four main entity uh, four main terms entity ra that means registration authority ca that means certification authority and certificate repository here the entity is like a pki user whereas the other three terms they are the pki management authority who involved in the registration of a certification as well as issue of certificate now the first term entity the end user of a pki the end user of a pki service such as a person an organization a device like a router they are refer as a entity now what do you mean by the ca term say certification authority the ca it uses a certificates and they are issue the certificate and specify the validity period of the certificate means the expiry period of the certificate time duration of certificate with the necessary information which are bind in the certificate then registration authority ra is a registration authority which implements functions like identity authentication of the entity as well as the public private key pair generation and key pair backup pki repository it is a server or the certification repository database it stores and manage information like certificate request key pair generation that key pairs are also hold by the uh, database certificates which is sent by the ca like as on previous figure all this maintains by the pki next digital certificate now digital certificate it is a file which is signed by ca for an end user or say for an entity it includes various kind of information of a end user like uh, it includes identity information of the entity 
public key of the entity name and signature of a certification authority validity period of the certificate where the signature of ca ensures the validity and authority of the certificate means digital certificate includes all the necessary information of the owner with the signature information of the ca all this information is bind with the certificate itself digital certificate binds the public key to information about its owner now there are two types of certificate local certificate and ca certificate local certificate is a digital certificate which is signed by ca for entity whereas ca certificate is a certification of a ca digital certificate are issued by the certification authority this certification authority is made up of software hardware procedures policies as well as paper now steps for obtaining a digital certificate whenever a particular user say and entity wants a certificate then they make a request for a certificate then the registration process will require the user to enter the specific information of a user in a manual form or in a web form that web page form it accept the user's public key or it will step the user to create a public private key pair then public key and the registration form are then forwarded to the ra for verification and for processing once the ra is finished the processing the request and verify the individual's identity then the ra send request to the ca for issuing the certificate the last step the ca uses the ra provided information to generate a digital certificate and integrate the necessary data information within the certificate and then ca issue the certificate so these are the step for issuing a digital certificate next centralized or decentralized infrastructure for handling the key there are a two approach centralized as well as decentralized first approach centralized approach where the keys are generated and stored in a central server and transmitted to the individual system whenever needed means cryptographic key public private keys uh, they are stored in one central device and when the end user need it for the encryption as well as for decryption then they can take that keys from the central server now second decentralized approach the software on individual computers generate and store cryptographic keys local to the system means here the cryptographic keys which is used for the encryption as well as for the decryption they are stored in the local system rather than the central server the keys are hold by the or stored by the local system next benefits of centralized key generation only central computer need necessary resource power to produce the key and it is much easier to back up the keys and implement key recovery procedure with central storage only a central server is involved with all these things so maintaining all the necessary resources as well as security preventions to the central storage device only so low risk factor only central computer maintain their own key pair these are the benefits of centralized key generation now drawbacks of centralized key generation here the key must be securely transmitted whenever it is needed by the end user at the time security must be maintained for transporting the key to the end user because the keys are available at the central system not to the individual system so transfer securely key must be available whenever the two end entity wants the key then key must be provided to them single point of failure if the central server fails then what happen the key must be the backup of the key must be failed so there is a drawback of the centralized key generation single point of failure then it is a prime target for the attacker all the cryptographic keys are stored in that system if company wants to provide truly authenticity 
the key should not be generated at a centralized server when the end user uh, required the true authentication then now next protecting private key that means private key protection so these are the guidelines that should be followed for private key protection first key must be stored for future use this storage area is known as a key store and how to pro providing the protection to key store for that transported securely that means key must be transported securely we cannot send the key in, in its original form but uh, in some encrypted form some hash form applying it some secure form for transmitting then stored securely storage area for the key must be also maintain the security environment then minimize the access to the private key minimize the number of users who are involved for using the private key then change at the end of its lifetime we are specify the lifetime of the private key and after its lifetime the private key should be changed then properly destroy at the end of the lifetime where we can properly destroy the private key never be exposed in clear text means private key should not be exposed in its original form in its original text it should be sent in some secret form then private key should not be shared so these are the guidelines for the private key protection the next trust model a trust model is a construct of a system application technology protocol personal and policies and all these terms they work together to provide a certain level of protection these all are the component they are working within the same trust domain for example if the two departments within the same company or within the two companies they use or want to communicate then using through a different ca then for that the two separate trust domains are involved if they are using the same trust see uh, uh, same trust then same ca is involved now there are mainly three types of trust models hierarchical trust model breach trust model and hybrid trust model first one hierarchical trust model as shown in the figure it is divided into hierarchy order root ca then the intermediate ca leaf ca and the at last and entities here the root ca they are at the top and the intermediate ca are next in the hierarchy they only trust intermediate ca they only trust information provided by the root ca and the root ca trust intermediate ca that are in their level in the hierarchy this is the most common implementation trust model technique that is used in the large organization then next breach second trust model that is of breach trust model here a peer to peer kind of relationship must be uh, exist uh, or such kind of relationship as you shown in the figure between the two root ca or between the intermediate ca of one organization to the intermediate ca of other organization so peer to peer kind of relationship when there is a requirement at that time breach trust models are used so it's uh, in breach trust model peer to peer relationship exists between the root ca the root ca can communicate with each other and allowing cross certification for that they are uh, executing the cross certification for uh, their uh, relationship peer to peer relationship and their trust this type of trust model is implemented between organization or between the department of a company uh, here the ca structure can be expanded without creating additional layer of ca next hybrid trust model it's a kind of uh, combination of two or more trust model different model types they have been combined to provide a uh, communication lines and level of trust the two company have their own internal hierarchy model as well as they are connected through a peer to peer model using the cross certification such kind of model can become uh, like complicated or confusing because it involve the various kinds of uh, model like hierarchy order is also there and whenever the peer to peer communication is required then also the peer to peer relationship for that the cross certification are also maintained so such kind of model are complicated and confusing
थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग